Hi guys, I'm Leanna from Leanna.me. Um, usually I talk about YA books, but today I'm going to talk about an adult fantasy book that just, I totally loved it. Um, fantasy was what I grew up on. Um, when I went to the library, I would always go to the science fiction and fantasy section. I never read young adult books when I was the appropriate age, so that's probably why I like them so much now. Um, so anyway, the book is Libyomancer by Jim C. Hines. Um, it just came out a couple weeks ago. Get your hands on it. It's fantastic. Um, especially if you are a fantasy reader or science fiction, there's a ton of stuff you're going to recognize. But I knew I would love this book on page 7, and I'm going to read a short quote. Libyomancy was in many ways a lazy man's magic. There were no wands, no fancy spells, no ancient incantations, no hand-waving or runes. Nothing but the words on the page, the collective belief of the readers, and the libromancer's love of the story. If you're a reader, I think you can relate to that. Um, and that's why I love this book so much, because the idea of taking magic out of books and using it in real life, I'm like, how did, so, how did nobody think of this before? Um, it's just such a great idea, and I'm a little jealous that I didn't think of it, but, you know, then I wouldn't have gotten to read it and love this book so much. Um... So our main character is Isaac, and, you know, I usually don't have a good time connecting with male characters, just because I don't, but this time, I mean, I could see myself in him. Every time he got sidetracked by a new book or a new thought and totally ignored the danger he was in, I was like, yeah, that's definitely what I do. Um, and Smudge, his pet. Um, Smudge is from, I think he's from the other, another series Jim Hines wrote which I haven't read yet, unfortunately, but I do own them. Um, so yeah, Smudge is right here, so Smudge is in these books. Smudge totally steals the scene that he's in. Smudge is a fire spider who doesn't talk at all in Libromancer, but he totally steals every single scene he's in. I have no idea how he does it, but I'm not really a fan of spiders. I, I pinch them, but I, Smudge, like, I would just love him. I mean, how can you not love a spider who likes jelly bellies and chocolate-covered ants? Um, so, I'm not really doing a review. I'm just trying to kind of share my love for this. I mean, I didn't want to put this down. I was telling people at work constantly, you have to read this because there's references to this and that and it. And, you know, I think you'll love it. Probably nobody's going to take my recommendation, but I, I just, this book is just fantastic. It, and, you know, I had a couple of problems with it, but I would still give it five owls just because I had such a good time reading it. Um, you know, the, the couple problems I had didn't detract from my enjoyment. Sometimes the magic system got a little overcomplicated, um, and sometimes I was kind of caught up in what was going on with the automatons, but, you know, it, it wasn't anything that took away for me. So it's a, it's a great book as far as I'm concerned, and I'll definitely be rereading it. I already want to reread it and see the different things that I missed. Um, and I, I'm trying to get people to read it so I can talk about it with them and be like, oh, did you catch this? Or, you know, what did you think of that? And um, so, you know, um, yeah, this is like my 10th attempt making this video and it's going pretty well. So I'm going to end it there and just say, read this book. Thank you, Jim C. Hines. You wrote something awesome.